Clearly artistic expressions are some of the earliest forms of any type of knowledge of ancient people that we have on the planet. Whenever early European artists saw these depictions of like this horse and this rhino that are here and lions and such, they realized that they had learned nothing new and that the people had already known perspective and many of the artistic techniques that they felt they had developed, but it had been around for a large amount of time. Indeed, until a modern time, maybe just a few hundred years ago, we were led to believe somehow that there was an early Earth, an Earth that was just recent, something that happened not long ago. In our scientific endeavors of the last few hundred years, we find out that that's not actually true, and today we look at one more artifact that can show you some of that knowledge. I've recently shown you pictures of cave art. In fact, I did a series of them. Then I waited a space and I showed one that was quite unique. For it shows people drawn not like this or stick photos or something that you might think of some kid being able to do with crayons and the way it looks. But there were actually artistic expressions of people. And something quite different than that stick look that we look at. So it wasn't really just animals that they were drawing quite correctly. In fact, some of those artistic expressions do look very cartoonistic. Like if you were to go to Six Flags or something and have somebody draw a character caricature of you without the character bigness of everything. So archaeologists have studied and found a lot of different places on, but here's one that's somewhat new. This was found up in Churchin recently last year and excavated out, and it is a depiction of a woman with a headband on the top of her head wrapping up around it, or perhaps it was meant to be her hair wrapped up around on top of it. And this is made out of mammoth ivory. A lot of our artifacts that we've seen from old time were made from, art from ivory, including one of the Holfell's cave finds that shows the earliest statuette of a man, and strangely he has that anamorphic depiction where he has a lion head that's upon him, which we can actually see carry from that 40-something thousand BC all the way to a modern time, close to a modern time, where we still see those depictions in ancient Egypt and so on, and I've expressed before quite a few many times on how that was the end of an animistic age that you could still see remnants of in Sumerians and other Caucasian civilizations. This too dates now to 47,000 years ago. And so we're looking at something that's a depiction of a human at that time and drawn in very good artistic relief. Something a lot different than just a few years ago we might have had the idea that they could have even been possible of creating, but everything keeps changing and every year we seem to find more and more finds that leads us back to the realization of man's early past. So this was dug up in church and as I said, here it is plastered and being excavated out of that. And this is from these people that are on the steps, used to chase mammoths around and so on. And so they were able to kill these incredible beasts. A lot of people look at it and think that they killed off all of them, but we now know that the Younger Dryas event really claimed all of that mega fauna that are the animals really big as humans or larger all across North America and in Europe at that time including the giant one-horned rhino that used to exist and so on but these same people who a lot of people look at as being primitive are able to make an expression that looks very non-primitive it's currently in a museum and being studied and showed to people on exhibit and of course early mammoths led to a lot of different crafts that were around at that time. Here we're looking at a flute that was made that I showed recently that is made out of the thigh bone of a swan. And it was uh, 
deemed as being one of the earliest flutes or musical instruments ever in the world. They have another one from this location, looks extremely similar, like it perhaps made by the same people or well-connected people. You can look along this and see some notches that are along it, hand of God here, notches, notch, 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 notch. It looks like that's a declamation. Boom, boom. This designates perhaps where each hole goes to make the thing in tune. An oddity to these flutes is that they seem to have the same type of scales that we believe in a modern day were derived much, much later. Of course, all out of the people of ancient Anatolia, all of the names that are correlated to the different scales of music are all from that location, and for a good reason, by the way. These ancient bone flutes, flutes that are made out of ivory, like this one that we see here, they have found dating back to over 40, 5,000 years, when where recently we thought these people were dumb and they were like, oh boy, uh, snow would have looked a little bit more like this perhaps and not so primitive. When we look at a piece of art like this, we can realize that they weren't as primitive as we recently gave them credit for or talk about or spoke about. So if there was anything other than this sparse cave art and things that are found like this, it would have been eroded away and long disintegrated long ago. Even if it had been made out of a, you know, aluminum or steel or anything like that, it would have eroded away now. And if you found something that used to be steel, it would just be an orange splotch in the soil. So to be able to find things like that are pretty rare, but yet something like this lasts. Just like stonework will outlast any metalwork. Once the girders and things start failing, it all goes downhill. If you've ever watched the video series where they talk about after humans and what it would look like, and they always want to show like freshly left alone and abandoned New York and how it just crumbles down and then buildings start going down and so on. If you go a couple hundred thousand years, there won't be anything left but dust. I think we're quite lucky that we even find artifacts like this. You would think that they would be all over the place, and indeed they are. During your lifetime, you have walked over a skeleton or an artifact that would be extremely important and never knew it. So when we see these artifacts like this, it's pretty telling, but also it just shows some connections to ancient times. And that these people had music and a lot of other things. There's grinding stones showing that they were making bread at way archaic times and so on too. But I thought I would just show you that face and again this bone flute that they're showing here going back 47,000 years. Compared to other civilizations, this well predates them. A lot of those other civilizations experience these people after they've already created this and it's where they got some of their th artifacts that look similar to it like share and subscribe and enjoy and we'll get on to another revealing video enjoy peace